Hey guys, Chris here, and today I'd like to demonstrate to you how to install new fonts onto your computer for purposes such as if you're working in GIMP or Photoshop, you're editing an image, you want to add some text onto it, but the fonts that are normally installed on your computer don't make for a very artistic style, and you want to find something that's a little bit fancier that you normally wouldn't have on your computer. So what you've got to do is go online to the internet and look around for these free fonts. They're all over the place, there's a whole bunch of different sites for them one of which is actually called Da Font. And uh, we're going to take a look at one of these fonts here. You can install fonts that are either .ttf format or .otf. I believe OTF means open font or something of that nature. But both should install just fine onto your system. So we'll go ahead and install this really awesome font. Open up the zip folder. Then double click to open up the .ttf file, that's the one you want, just look for the extension. And then you'll need to hit the install button, it's very very simple, and at least inside of Windows, but it works very similarly in other OS's like Linux as well. So just hit the install button, uh, I've already installed it once for testing purposes. Uh, but yeah, you can go ahead and hit that, you may need administrative permission uh, in order to go through. And the user account control may uh, give you a prompt to make sure you really want to install the font before you go ahead and do it. And then once you've done that, you can close out your image editing software or word editing software as well. It works the same process with that. Uh, just have to make sure you close it out, reload it to make sure that it detects the new font. And then once you've reopened your image editing program or your word software, you can just select all the text. Go over here to the font icon and look for the font. Now, uh, the really awesome font I actually downloaded has a different title than you would expect. It's not really awesome. As you can see, it's not finding it. It's actually MF really awesome. So I've gone ahead and changed my font to something that might be a little bit more preferable for a thumbnail image. And uh, you can do the same thing with just about any font out there. So I recommend you go uh, search for some fonts, give it a try, see what works, see what doesn't and it should allow you to stylize your work a little bit more. Hope this helped some of you out there. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.